Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about how you can use Excel to calculate Pearson's by hand, right? Um, sorry, the title was missing there. Right, this is the formula for Pearson's, this, okay? You'll see that on the count, um, in your textbooks, or your teachers probably taught you that. Now, you don't you you can't you cannot just use excel to do do it like this i mean you can't do this right you can't just go equals pearson's um let me just do it quickly pearson's and then select that column comma that column and then just press enter and then then write that down okay nor can you also type it in on the calculator and then use the calculator features to do it. You actually have to show the processes and I'll give you an example of what I mean by that. Here's the formula nice and neatly presented. Um, if I go down oops, or up, sorry. This student has got the data, got the XY's, got all the different calculation columns here and then has used Excel to do all the hard work like adding things up and that sort of thing and then he's got Pearson's down here now th that's what you really should do okay it's showing that showing the moderator and your teacher that you know how to work out Pearson's okay now I'm going to talk you through how you can use Excel to do all the hard work for you okay so here's a formula and where you begin is you can clearly see it's got X take away X bar y take away y bar and it appears here and here as being squared and so on okay and the sigma means is being added up now remember x bar is the mean of your x status a mean of your x values and y bar is obviously the mean of the y data right so what we're going to do is we're just going to go into excel and we are going to get it to work out x bar and y bar so here we just put actually let me just insert a column here so you can see a bit better what I'm typing here so what you want to what you want to do first of all is work out the mean of each column so equals mean I think it's average and then if you just select the column Okay, that's the average of them, and then you can drag it across. That's the average. Now, now I'm a bit paranoid, and I would double check that. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to let me just put total, and I'm just going to add that up. Okay, and then in this box, let me just count how many pieces of data I've got. Uh, the numbers are missing here. What does that look like? 20 to me, right? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, right? Okay, so if I just take that total and divide it by 19, okay, it comes back to that, and I'll tell you what, I'm just going to remember mean is add them all up, divide by how many there are. I'm just double checking that they're the same so I added them all up divided by how many there are and it comes back to all the computers calculated right I'm just going to delete that because I don't need that now I don't need that and I don't need that so I know they're correct right okay so what I want to do is do first of all I want to do x take away x bar now I'm just typing x bar here you are not going to do that in your actual final draft okay look at the later clip or how you do the correct notation okay it needs to look like this look the student has done x take away look at the notation here x take away x bar look how neat that is I'll show you later how to do that okay so I'm just gonna do x take away x bar so you do equals this is your x take away and this is your mean x bar now if I were to drag that down now it would do it completely wrong because 3.54 is 
the x-bar value. So what you want to do is this, you want to press, you want to go to here and where it's got C23 which is that cell there, you want to press F4 for definite cell value. So it's got these dollar signs so it's always going to take away that green box now. So you can drag that to the bottom. Okay, so that's x take away x bar, and you, now you want to do y take away y bar it equals that take away that, and again you want to press f4 on that one because you want it to do, you always want it to take away this bottom value here, and then drag it down to the bottom. Okay. Now what's the formula say? You want to do those multiplied by each other. So now you want to do x take away x bar times y take away y bar. So you want to do equals that times that, oops no, equals that times asterisk sign that, you can drag it to the bottom. Okay, we want the total of that, so sum that column. Okay, now if we just go back to the formula, what have I, what we worked out there? Well, we've just worked out the whole top line, because that's x take away x bar times y take away y bar. Because what we've done is, that's x take away x bar, that's y take away y bar, just multiplied them in that. We've done it for every single row and we've just added them all up. That comes back to minus one one four point four seven six divided by. Um, right, okay, so now we want the other numbers. Now what do we need to do? We want to do equals, we want to square that. Okay, because look at the formula, it's x take away x bar squared and then then added together so you want to square that cell so this symbol here the triangle 2 squares it okay drag it to the bottom okay because you want to do it for each x take away x bar value here and then total that so equals square root. We've just worked out this entire section here which comes to, I'm just going to put 2, 3, 4 now. Now remember you would want to be more precise than that. I'm just being lazy. Or right, let me tell, let me just put the rest of the digits down. Times. Okay, I want to do it again for y take away y bar, so squared. So you want to do that squared drag it to the bottom add them up this is 433 times 433.761 okay so now you've got all the numbers so you'd have this horrible looking table in your you know, let me just neaten it up you'd have that table obviously with the totals here, maybe in bold, and then you know you what you want to do is have this written and this typed up, and then you want to go ahead into your calculator and actually work out, um, work out the answer. So type that into the calculator, and work it out. I'm not going to show you how to do that because I assume you know how to use your calculators by now. But then what I would do is double check that it matches the computer's value, so Pearson's, so just type in some random cell equals Pearson's, double click that and then choose this column, comma, this column, the first two columns, your X and Y data and then close the bracket and press enter and double check your calculator value comes back to that, okay? If it doesn't, then you've done something wrong. Or maybe you've highlighted the wrong cells in this Pearson's calculation. So always double check it and then state somewhere that you've double checked it. Okay, so 
you know, once you type that into your calculator, whatever answer you get here should match that. Okay, so that's how you do Pearson's uh, using the formula and using Excel to do all of the hard work. Now you could do it all on the calculator and type in every value, square it and multiply and blah 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 and add it all together. But you guarantee to make a mistake. So just whack in Excel, do x take away x bar, y take away y bar, you know, multiply them, square them, add them up, whack it in the calculator in the correct order, press enter, see if you get it. And remember to do absolute reference on this because um, people have handed me in their final draft and they've gone wrong somewhere here on their final draft and sorry tough luck you can't correct it because they forgot to do absolute reference and they didn't bother checking it okay so check it against the calculator or your computer or the excel feature okay it's got to match both okay i'm going to stop it